My name is S-H-O-S-W-A-W, Elinda Ash. I'm retired Navy. I did 20 years of service, 1992 to 2012. What is SH-1, S-W-A-W? SH-1 stands for Ship Servicemen First Class, all about the services and the S-W-A-W. S-W is Surface Warfare, A-W is Air Warfare, and that is a qualification on board ship that you get for going through and learning your systems and just all of the things that your ship weaponry is capable of doing. For NTC, I came here in January of 93 to the end of February, and I went to barber school. And that was uh, interesting, to say the least, because I do not like messing with people's hair. I don't know why I chose SH other than it's people-oriented, customer service-oriented, and I just really love people. You have to really have a passion to work with people's hair, and I didn't. I came out with two specialties, lopsided or bald. So my first ship, they had me on in the barbershop for a week and said, oh no, you need to go somewhere else. The crew is not gonna be happy with you. And we had a saying in the Navy, the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut is two weeks. As a junior SH, you got to do the grunt work, which is the laundry and filling up vending machines. And I went from fleet sailor, graduating recruit training command in Orlando to sea school here in San Diego. I think the most endearing thing about NTC was that it was a, a home for all of us that were going to school. Back then, there was at least 15 rates, maybe more, that were here going to school. Got to know each other, we went out on Liberty together. From what I've learned just in the past two days, Liberty Station is the epitome of what it means to have a community that is not only come together with performing arts and you know various other things, but the Navy, they're recognizing the importance of the Navy. They recognize the importance of NTC. Let's talk a little bit about NTC Chapel. This was sanity place, a way to worship on Sunday, but yet relax from the week worth of learning how to use clippers, messing up on somebody's head, being able to know that, okay, there's light beyond <laughs> NTC. As a senior SH, I learned how to become an admin guru. I learned how to write evals for hundreds of sailors. I learned how to go to meetings. I learned how to schedule. I learned how to manage people. And my last duty station is near and dear to my heart. It was Balboa. Balboa Hospital, uh, I was in material management. And those people that knew me, they nicknamed me Bulldog because I had a bad habit of I didn't take any BS. One recruit, I feel so bad for him. He was a recruit. He had just graduated boot camp, came to my division at Balboa, and uh, he just had no respect, none. So I treated him like a recruit. I said, you stand there at attention. And then when I'm ready to call you in, we'll talk. But in the meantime, stand there at attention. And occasionally, there's a big window. I, I would look and make sure that he was standing at attention. I finally called him in, and uh, I said, so now that I've got your attention, because you are standing at attention, Tell me what your malfunction is. Sometimes it takes taking your foot and putting it somewhere, and they say, you know, maybe I need to not mess with her. The Navy gave me a platform to where I could learn how to take care of myself. And the experiences that I got from the Navy, I will never, ever forget. I wanted to make a difference as a woman in the Navy. In 1992, when I joined, uh, the women were only allowed to go on one class of ships, and I was a subtender. And now, the changes that have been made, they can go on all kinds of platforms and, and just thrive. And I think it's just so awesome that the Navy has expanded billets for women.